Hello everyone. This is a new section, pre-processing. We will build up this section by performing each pre-processing task in individual videos. Tokenization, stemming, lemmatization, stop words treatment, and edit distance. Lastly, we will look at an example of how we can combine some of these pre-processing techniques to find common vocabulary between two freeform texts. So, let's start with the first video, tokenization learning to use the inbuilt tokenizers of NLTK. In this video, we're going to take a look at the meaning of tokenization, why we need it, and how to do it. The first thing you'd want to do when you receive a document is break it into words and punctuation marks. This is the process of tokenization. So we start by importing the four different types of tokenizers that we are going to explore. First one is line tokenizer. We initialize the line tokenizer and this is the print statement, which includes a sentence. As the name implies, this tokenizer is supposed to divide the input string into lines, not sentences mind you. As you can see, it has returned a list of three strings, meaning the given input has been divided into three lines on the basis of where the new lines are. So, line tokenizer simply divides the given input string into new lines. Now we will see space tokenizer. It is supposed to divide on split on space characters. We'll use it with the help of this code. The S tokenizer object is an object of space tokenizer. We have invoked the tokenize method to get this output. The input raw text is split on the space character. On to the next one. It's the word tokenize method. See the difference here? The other two we have seen so far are classes, whereas this is a method of the NLTK module. This is the method that we will be using most of the time going forward, as it does exactly what we have defined to be tokenization. It breaks up words and punctuation marks. Let's see the output. You can see the difference between space tokenizer and word tokenizer is clearly visible. Now onto the last one. There's a special tweet tokenizer that we can use when dealing with special case strings. Tweets contain special words, special characters, hashtags and smileys that we want to keep intact. Let's see the output of these two lines. See, the tokenizer kept the hashtag word intact and didn't break it. The smileys are also kept intact and are not lost. This is one special little class that can be used when the application demands it. This was all about tokenization. 